I'm Benjamin Booker, and you're watching the AU Review. So it's been a pretty it's been a pretty fast process, then I guess considering that that's your debut record. You you record in December, it's out in August. You do things like South by Southwest. You yeah. you start touring. You're in Australia. You know, have have, yeah. you, have you been surprised at all by you know how quickly it's been received? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. Uh, I don't know. I thought. Um, I, know, I was hoping that people would like it, I guess, but I just uh, thought that it would like take, I don't know, longer, you mm -hmm. know, to do stuff. It's, it, I mean, you do have to like do work and like, uh, w I don't know. It's nice to go and play a city and then like come back and like see that uh, there's like more people the next time and more people the next mm -hmm. time, which is the way that it's been. But uh, I guess it's just been like increasing like uh, faster than I expected yet. You like a lot of the shows that we've been doing in the U.S. have like uh, doubled, which is like crazy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what people like. I don't. I don't, I don't know what people like. <laughs> you just know what you like, and I mean, but you grew up around music. You know, you you can't live in a place you know like like where you grew up and not be surrounded and immersed in music. So you have to have some, I guess, idea about what people want to see. Yeah, maybe. maybe <laughs> I, I don't know, but people. Uh, I don't, maybe it's like easier in America. There's so many uh, people that like n no matter what you make, mm. like uh, somebody's gonna listen to it. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I, I always like. Uh, I mean, I didn't really like worry about uh, mm. people at all, and like I just knew that if I made something that like mm. like somebody would be into it too. I guess yeah. You worked with a great producer on the record. You know, there is when I first heard the record, it reminded me of what I was listening to at the time, which was like Alabama Shakes and Ray for the Riff Raff and Gary Clark Jr. And that was kind of when I first put on your record, that's what I was immersed in at the time. So it kind of fit really nicely in the, into the, into that world. Um, do you feel that the that he you know really made an impact on kind of what the what it ended up sounding like? The producer? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, like, uh, yeah, I guess it's, like, technique. I mean, he didn't do a lot of, uh, like, sometimes the producer is, like, very involved in, like, the songwriting process and, like, uh, like do, like, basically, like, whole arrangements of, like, songs mm. and stuff for people. We he, There was only one song where, like, we worked on it together, uh, and we didn't end up using that song. Uh, his thing was, like, more just, like... That was, uh, that was the reject. <laughs> yeah, that was the reject. <laughs> His thing, but his thing is that definitely like more like uh, the recording process mm. and like uh, we would spend like most of the time like picking out like uh, amps and guitars and mm. like uh, I guess just like getting it to sound like what we wanted to sound like and then we would just like record just press play and then mm. like, do it. So I guess like uh, I don't know. I, I, that's why I recorded there. I guess is because I had heard the riff raff record there from mm. New Orleans too and the Shakes record and it seems like more uh, I don't know natural and like a more of like a live feel. You mm. know what I mean? Just because of the way that he records so. Do you track things separately or are you tracking it all live? No, yeah. I mean, most of, the, like, uh, I, I, I don't think uh, any of this, maybe, like, Have You Seen My Son, one of the songs is, like, uh, that was, like, one take, and, like, I think maybe the whole thing is live. But uh, I think most of them are, like, 75% live. Like, mm. me and, like, the band would play the song, and then maybe I would go and, like, fix, like, some vocals or something. But, yeah. like, most of, like, the, the tracks are, like, live, yeah. You can't really, like, mess around with, like, analog and, like, fix stuff, you know? Digital is like insane. I like recorded digitally one time, and uh, it's just crazy. You can literally like change like every word <laughs> in a song. I, I like that would drive me crazy if like I could do that. I, I it, like, it gives you too much control. Yeah, no, it's too much. I, I wouldn't ever leave the studio yet. So we're probably not going to hear an auto tune record from you. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Sometimes auto tune is cool. That new Kanye West song is cool. <laughs> so you know but but you know when he first put out some auto-tune songs everyone was like really yeah kanye really it's it's a little uh yeah i'm, I'm over the kanye uh, <laughs> auto-tune yeah it's a bit much I, I mean i grew up in florida uh not far from where t-pain is from uh, so there's like a lot of uh auto-tune going around yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just a little bit of auto-tune in the <laughs> in the world of t-pain he's actually a really good singer i was about to say they I actually put out <laughs> they put out a song of his i know without auto-tune and i was like oh he's man like, he's a really good singer i don't know why he used it at all it doesn't make any sense to me yeah he's really good i, don't know. I guess it was just the thing to do at the time i guess drake had yolo he had auto-tune you know you have what you have the thing that that pushes you along yeah. <laughs> Laneway Festival, have you gotten to see any amazing artists? We'll kind of leave it on this and uh, uh, talk yeah. about the lineup. Yeah, I saw Angel Olsen yesterday. Mm. She was really good. Uh, she also has a really cool guitar. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she's just a great singer. I hadn't seen her before. Uh, and she's from Nashville. So the the band, the guys that I play with are mm. from Nashville. Uh, they're from Nashville and they saw her and they told me I had to go see her. So we went to go watch her. She was good. I think that that was maybe all that I saw yesterday. 
Yeah, I don't know. No time to really like <laughs> check out bands. You got a couple more dates though, so you should be able to check some some bands out next weekend. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like a lot of the people, there's like not that many people who really play festivals. So you, I've seen you see like all mm. these bands like all the time. Anyways, so it's like, <laughs> I don't know. But You're all on the same cycle as well. Yeah, so, everybody's yeah. like doing the, the same thing. Yeah, so it's like I don't know. There's some people I did want to go see yesterday that I didn't see, but it's okay. Man, I want to see FKA Twigs and uh, yeah, I don't know. And I want to see Pond too. But I don't know. What are you going to do? You'll fit it in. you got three more. I think there are three more festival dates. It's true. Yeah. I just got a... Uh, it's such a long... Like, a, we, yesterday we woke up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning and, like, took a plane and, like, just, like, went straight to the festival. So it was, like, hard to mm. stick it out for the whole day. But I think I think I might try in Melbourne. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, best of luck with it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here in yeah. Australia. And uh, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you, sir. <laughs>